my channel. So today I am bringing back my planner system for the next year video. Um, this was my probably my most watched and liked video that I've done so far on my channel and I will link last year's in a card up below here so you can check it out. Um, but this is going to be a what planner system am I using for 2018. So first off, um, I have my Erin Condren Colorful Vertical. Um, I did do the um, July through June, so I did the academic year. So I've been using this since July. Um, I will be doing a flip through soon of this, probably later on in December. So you can see July through December. But this I will be using pretty much, you know, I'll show you a couple examples. I use it as a fun way to track all of like our appointments and things we have going on with the kids. Um, just as a fun way for me to look and see what's going on and to be able to play and use stickers, that kind of thing. So that's what I use this for. Then I've been using my um, bullet journal, my Lloyd's Charm 1917 in emerald green from July and it will finish out in December. I won't have any more room left. Um, this, I, I'm also going to be doing a more detailed flip through, but just to give you a kind of like an idea of how I use this, uh, I'll do Green November for you. If I can, cover page for the month, my calendar with all of my appointments written out, a monthly task list, uh, and keep track of my bills, my meal planning memories, habit and mood tracking, um, exercise and weight, and then I make a weekly spread with like any appointments or anything on the schedule. And then it's more of a daily like to-do list. I separate it out daily. Um, obviously I add little collections in like this month I did. Shows I wanted to watch in November, um, more weeklies, more dailies as you can see, but this is where I put like the main like meat and potatoes structure of my day. And then we're into December. So I've got that all set up. And like I said, this one will be done at the end of the month. I've already started planning out how I want to um, set up my new one. Like I think starting around page 240 where I did like my reflection of like what worked well for me, what I didn't like or didn't use, ideas I want to try, um, collections I'd like to add into this new one. And then I've kind of gotten my first like 30 pages of um, layout set up in here. Like I've got it written down what each page is going to be, what I want to do, that kind of thing. And I'm going to be moving into this. Um, this is also a Leuchtturm 1917, but this is the official bullet journal version. Um, I'll give you a quick peek inside. I haven't done anything inside yet. I put this vinyl decal on the front from KM Vinyl on Etsy, and I will link her shop down below. But it's a like a glittery rose gold mandala type decal. So it's really pretty. I thought it would, would look really nice with the black journal. Um, there's some key differences like my green life charm. Basically you have like the contact page and this one you open it up, you actually have a key and then the contact page. Um, you had three pages of index in this. This one I believe there is four, but before you get to those, there's a tips page, you have your index with your feature log already put in here, and then instructions in the back. Um, and then after the three index pages, it would start on page one, which I made this blank page, my key over here, and it had a key right here. Um, and then this was my feature log, I'm starting on page one while they have 
four dedicated pages for your future guide. So, which is really nice. And then you start page one. Um, for page five is where you start, like, with the dots. Um, you know, and it's about the same number of pages. In the back, the only difference is, is, like, you have, like, a, instructions for bullet journaling so like if you've never bullet journaled before it explains all the terms and all that stuff um, you have removable pages in the back like the last one it also has the pocket with the archival stickers which I've already put in here and then in the official bullet journal version there's three bookmarks which I will find very helpful because there's plenty of times I wished I had more and the standard voice charm only comes with two. So, um, if you remember my video from last year, like I had a calendar that went in my purse, and I had my planner, and I had another planner that I was planning on using for like my YouTube channel to develop content that I never ended up using. Um, I had a meal planner and like this last year, like probably since June, July, I have really simplified things like a bunch, like literally these two are all I use. I don't have any extra planners. I went through everything. I mean, at one point I had this, I had one in my purse, I had meal planner, I had a content planner, I had a daily planner. It just got to be too much. So this bullet journal system, I discovered bullet journaling, has really worked out really well for me. Um, and I will link like my introductory video to bullet journaling in a card for you above. Um, but I found it like much easier and I can truly customize this the way that I want. And like I said, I I use it for bill planning, meal planning, um, memories, tracking my workouts, doing, you know, to-do lists, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like all of those planners that I had last year encompassed into one book. Um, yes, I have to draw everything out myself. And yes, sometimes that's a pain in the ass. But um, I'm starting to learn to be more creative and to really like simplify things and really think about what I need and what will actually work for me. Um, I like to see the visual of this, you know what I mean? Having all the pretty stickers and whatnot. I really like, I enjoy that. But this is like my go-to every day. Um, the one thing I will say about my Erin Condren though, is I did get a rose gold foil again this year, and I'm super disappointed in it. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to see it very well, but I will bring it up here. Look at how bad it is. It's tarnished, and it's chipping. And this literally does not leave my house. It, like, literally does not go anywhere, and it's turning, like, black. And So, um, I do hope to get another academic version when they're released in May, because I know they'll start in like July or whatever, um, or June or whenever they're released. I do hope to do that, but I think that I will either go with a black coil, because everybody seems to say that those have held up really well and they don't chip. Or I will just go with the standard silver coil, and I probably will just go with the silver coil and save myself the $10 with the fancy coil because, like, I don't know if you can see that. I'm just really disappointed in that. It really, for as much as they charge for their planners, you know, it's, it's very disappointing. I, I Like I said, I literally, this stays on my table or my counter. It does not go anywhere. I don't throw it in my purse. It's not, you know, like, thrown through the ringer. It's just here. And it, seriously, I'm just, I'm, I'm really sad that it did that. 
and you know I do have a lot of stuff in here and it is starting to get bulky because I'm going into like month five of using this so which is fine um, I've also stopped paying attention to all of the planner trends and I used to be one of those people that would had to have, you know, the newest planner that everybody was using, and that is not the case anymore. Um, I've kind of really simplified things, and I know I will stick to this for, you know, the whole 12 months that I have it, because I don't plan on doing anything else. And I know that I will keep using the Lloyd's Turn bullet journaling um, system or the bullet journal system in the lace terms because that's my journal of choice um, because it just works. Um, I know some people would probably say, well, if you have this and you've encompassed everything in this, why do you do this? Well, this is more like just for a creative outlet and for things to be pretty and, you know, I have all these stickers and I don't want to waste them. I would prefer to use them. So... Yeah, I mean, maybe eventually one day I will give up the and just stick with this. But for now, these are this is the system that works for me, and I finally, dare I say, found a planner piece. I know that that phrase is used a lot in the planner community, but I think that this system worked really well for me, and this is what I plan on using in 2018. Um, I will link all the products down below. Um, that I've mentioned, and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Happy planning!